convenient whole wheats, spelt emmer and einkorn, are sought by consumers and chefs alike for their distinct flavor, nutritional properties, and the intrigue of eating a meal that has sustained humans since ancient times. Einkorn, emmer, and spelt differ from modern wheat in that they largely do not thresh free of their holes in the combining process. An additional step, called deholing, is needed to remove holes. Through direct marketing, farmers are able to sell wheat kernels and flowers from these hold wheats at a high price per pound to chefs, bakers, and consumers. Additionally, hold wheat still in the hole can be marketed as animal feed, while empty holes can be sold as animal bedding. The hold wheats also have characteristics that make them highly compatible with sustainable and organic production. The hold wheats have traditionally been grown under lower fertility conditions than modern wheat. In fact, high nitrogen fertility can cause lodging in these crops. Although more research is needed, a good rule of thumb is to plant einkorn and emmer with no more than 50 to 75% of the nitrogen required for modern wheat. Winter spelt can be fertilized as winter modern wheat without the additional spring top dressing. The hold wheats also show tolerance to environmental stresses. Winter spelt has shown cold tolerance and some einkorn varieties have salinity tolerance. Emmer tends to be more drought tolerant than modern wheat and spring emmer more competitive against weeds. Emmer germplasm also contains many genes that are valuable in breeding for disease resistance. In terms of production, spelt yields in the whole are comparable to or slightly lower than that of modern wheat. Recent research on spring emmer and einkorn suggests that yields can vary by location and management. In North Dakota, research shows that spring emmer and einkorn yields in the whole can be higher than modern spring wheat yields. In contrast, in research trials in New York and Pennsylvania, Yields of spring emmer and einkorn in the whole varied from 35 to 93% of modern spring wheat. As with modern wheat, there are spring and winter varieties of spelt, emmer, and einkorn. A good starting point to grow hold wheats is to use the best management practices for modern wheat in your region, including good seed bed preparation, timely planting, and timely harvest to preserve grain quality. These hold wheats tend to be taller and have higher rates of lodging than modern wheat. In addition to avoiding excess nitrogen, to reduce lodging use lower planting rates for emmer and einkorn than for modern wheat. Emmer and einkorn need to be planted in their hole to get adequate germination. Spelt can be planted in or out of the hole. Research trials have shown a rate of 100 pounds per acre to be suitable for spring emmer and einkorn. Research is needed to determine rates for winter emmer and einkorn, although farmer experience suggests that even lower planting rates, such as 80 pounds per acre or lower, may be used. Spelt planting rates depend on whether it is planted in or out of the hole. For example, in Pennsylvania, farmers plant spelt at about 120 pounds per acre when deholed and at about 150 pounds per acre when in the hole. Planting einkorn, emmer, and spelt in their holes has challenges. The hold seed can clog seeding equipment, which results in skips in the field. This is due to the hairs and awns on the holes along with the larger size of the seed in the hole. There are various ways to accommodate these seed characteristics in planting. Well-executed combining can remove most of the awns from the seed. A deobirator can be used to remove the hairs and awns and break up doubles before seeding. Seeding equipment may be modified to accommodate the seed characteristics, or the seed can be broadcast. Certain varieties, such as winter emmer, have very large seeds. These larger seeds may require broadcast seeding or double planting. A percent of the harvest of hold wheats will dehole in the combine or thresher but an additional deholing and cleaning process are required to extract maximum yield and to create an edible and marketable product. The ease of deholing will vary depending on the species, variety, and growing conditions. 
For example, spelt tends to be easier to dehole than emmer or einkorn. The spelt variety Maverick is easier to hole than others, such as Oberkulmer. Well-dried grain and low humidity are required for highest deholing efficiency. There are two main types of deholers, impact and friction. In an impact deholer, the hold grain is thrown at high speeds against a hard surface or impact ring. As the grain hits the surface, the kernel is separated from the hole. Several commercial impact deholers are available. In friction deholers, the kernel is rubbed loose from the hole using one of several mechanisms. One method is to rub the grain against a rubber surface. Farmers have made very low cost friction deholers by replacing one or both of the metal plates in a burr mill with a rubber disc. Another farmer built deholer uses sections of combine rasp bars mounted on a drum to dehole grains. Yet another method of friction deholing is to force the hold grain through a mesh screen. In addition to the deholer, an air column or aspirator is used to blow off empty holes. A separator is used to sort dehold kernels from those still in the hole. A commonly used separator is a gravity table. Both a separator and an aspirator are necessary to achieve a high quality product. Some deholers, such as the Nigel Tudor model, include an aspirator. The Horn friction deholer includes both an aspirator and a gravity table. The ancient hold wheats, spelt, emmer, and einkorn, are potentially high value food crops that could fit well into an organic farming system. They require careful management and an extra processing step called deholing to ready them for market. To learn more about growing, processing, and marketing the ancient hold weeds, visit these sites. Mm -hmm.